Hey everybody, Marku here. I'm doing a speed run for Risk. It's been a while since I've done one of these. It's uh, almost been a year to the date since I did my last all map speed run. But since that's a bit long and individual maps are a bit short, uh, so for now I'm going to do the individual map packs. Uh, so for this one, we're going to do try and go through the. Um, the five fantasy map packs, of course, because it has Rivertown in it. A little bit biased for that one to start off with, of course. Where we're going to start with Forsaken Lands. And the rules on speedrun.com say it has to be World Dom and Manual Placement. However, this was before uh, Semi Auto Placement was a thing. So we will stick with World Dom. We might switch to Semi Auto and have the option to add portals later on but for now we'll just go world dom manual placement to stay within the old rules here we're gonna do uh prog to try and maintain some balance but at the same time we're gonna be doing five true random expert bots so either way we'll it'll be chaotic might switch the card bonus to fixed uh, in a future run but these are the proof of the settings since we won't be going or uh, showing the game id after each one so yeah Good old world of risk speed running here. And if I remember right, the rules for manual pick are the first territory that you select is when the time starts. And it's kind of unclear uh, when it starts when you're not player one in the turn order. So we might be uh, resetting here for a bit. I'm assuming if auto or semi-auto was allowed, it'd be as soon as you press the arrow to begin to enter the game from the lobby screen. I'd imagine that would be um, the timing for that. But alright, here we go. We are now the first player. Blizzards aren't too, too impactful, but we will start over here and get the run going. Hopefully we can get some of these dead ends. Nice. Bots already going for the Australia Forsaken Lands. Uh, we'll take that dead end. And now I'll just take some in the Dwarf Mine bonus. And there we go. Huh. Alright, so there's the purple bot stacked in here, unfortunately. And we lost four on that first attack. So we aren't going to be too gung-ho about taking this over right away. Part of the reason Prague is a decent, uh, ooh, bad dice there. Part of the reason Prague is a decent choice, because if this was fixed, I'd barely be able to recover. And it would likely be uh, a reset run here. That's a lot of attacking. From orange, we're already on the 15 trade. Everybody's traded. Let's see. Ah, oh, don't even get to see if that's the last uh, orange territory or not. Okay, that does get broken, but we do have a trade. Uh, let's try for orange. That is all of them, okay. Have to see where what the purple's doing. Oh, purple, nice. That'll be 
you enter and trade. Let's head for blue next. Time to find blue. Oh, okay. Oh, just enough. True random coming back for us there. I'll go here. And a nice full trade sequence. So slightly longer here than what we would be like, but that's fine since this is a multi-map run. Let's move on to Enchanted Lands and add the bots. Your player one again. We'll probably want to stay away from the center areas here. So we'll take these corners and look to hang out there for a bit. Yeah, see the bots <laughs> immediately took all the centers. stacks. Let's make sure to knock red away. They might hit our ones, but that's fine. Okay, red is a stacker bot that went up there. Orange is already dead. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, those don't connect. We won't open up the chance of running into the stacker bot, so we'll just head back and now deal with purple on our border. Ah, oh, red made it down to there. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Lots of bot carnage going on in this one. It's not all of red. Crazy. Okay, white takes care of that for us. We do have a trade. It's on the 10 trade. Can we end it here? Maybe. Two on four? Nah. I have to get a little bit more. Ah, bot had the trade. Hey, the three on two wins. On the castle. <laughs> uh, that's a benefit to having true random on. Oh, whoops, didn't even mean to pick that, but that's all right. Shouldn't matter too, too much. Pick over here instead. Get this two point bonus ho over here, thanks to this blizzard. Uh, let's pick some dead ends over here. We'll stack over here. Nothing too major. <laughs> Alright. Terrible dice. <laughs> so we will halt at five. Looks like we need to hide over here for a bit. Lots of bot activity near us, which isn't uh, 
ideal. Another bad roll on a five. We'll risk the no trade. We'll hang out away from red since red might trade on four. Okay, red doesn't trade. Nice, we get the black kill. Let's see what's going on over here. This was the last of red. That's good. We'll get the snowball going. Uh, I'll put it all over here. To get the orange kill. It is one good thing about these speedrun things, is it, it does help the mechanical ability here, splitting the arrow keys, doing that quickly. Alrighty, on to Rivertown. World domination version. See how we get on. Okay, might be able to take that over on the first turn if the bot doesn't stack near us there. Probably should have taken one of these in Merchant. Bot does stack. Let's hopefully get a good roll. Alright. Hopefully, pink 13 goes to the bridge. Okay, does go away from us. That's splendid. There's a purple 11 on the bridge, though, so we'll back off just in case. Pink does die. Purple did come through here. Uh, I didn't want to double click. Ah, there's the <laughs> there's the true random bad dice. Oh, was that green's last spot? It might be his last spot. Whoa! Here comes the blue bot. That's the steamroll. We don't have a set on four. So we gotta keep going back here. Alright, trades are on the ten already. Alright, that is all of green. Doesn't connect. This will be a fairly slow river town of what's possible, but overall it's pretty alright. Nice, good roll there. Game should be over shortly. On to the final map of this pack of Rivertown Advanced. We are the first player. I don't think the Blizzards do anything insanely impactful, so we'll start taking territories on the left side with this one point hold. We'll 
hopefully look to take all of this over. So we'll take some dead ends in Western Ruins. And now I'll just take some random stuff on the right side. If we get a bunch of these territories in fishing, actually, we may pivot to that. I think I will pivot to that, actually. I'll try this out. Guard with two threes, hopefully orange doesn't break us. Okay, orange did not break us. Let's do that and that, and we'll take a card over here. Something like that. Okay, blue bot's actually getting strong over there, so we'll expand this way. That's why I was a bit hesitant to do that, but should be all right still. Okay. Decent expansion so far. Roll on the five. Not on that. That should be okay. <laughs> that was Red's final spot. That's a little unlucky. Blacks five cards though, so that'll be good. Yeah, I got a split here. that. Alright, there goes white. Orange might be weak as well. Just blue now. Alright, not the best roll. Get that fortify. Hopefully, we can finish in under 17. Force the trade. Sixteen fifty four, not bad for a first attempt of this pack. But all right, that is the the uh, the the map pack speed run grouping. So individual maps, depending on the size, will be like five minutes or less usually, maybe a bit longer if it's one of the really big maps. And then all maps are like six plus hours at least by this point. So I think these are decent uh, in like to keep doing the individual packs like this. 
But all right. Hopefully, hopefully speed running, the risk speed running uh, part of this game can be revived a little bit. But all righty. GG's, and until next time, everybody, take care, and cheers for stopping by.